Welcome to Cretoni Entertainment. I'm Chris. And I'm Bree. And remember when I said I wasn't going to use a white background anymore? Yeah, it's a white background. I'm telling the truth. I filmed this like... A hot, hot, a hot, hot minute ago. A long time ago. So about the Shadow Collective box for... Could perhaps be in a galaxy far, far away? Oh, boo. <laughs> so I bought the... Um, so I bought the Shadow Collective box set pretty much right when it came out yeah, for Star Wars. Because I mean, it's super cool. And I painted this model pretty much right away. Because again, and then for some reason we just never released the video. Yeah, I don't know and what you were doing. With I think I was mad at this model. I think, Why? Okay, so hear me out. I think I was unhappy with the result for some reason, and I didn't think it was worthy of filming. But then I thought. Actually, no, it looks pretty cool, and I'm actually looking at the clips, and the clips look pretty good, too. So the technique I've used for this is just a very simple, basic, almost all contrast paint technique on this miniature. Um, we've talked about this in the past. We've done this in some HeroQuest figs. Mm -hmm. Here we're doing it on a Star Wars Legion fig where I primed the model white, washed it black to create the shading, right, and just did all contrast colors over it and called it a day. Because this is one of the... Just remember the Pike Syndicate. Yeah. I, know. I don't I don't remember what their name is, and I was too lazy to look it up before we made the video. That's, that's good. But as a member of the Pike Syndicate, uh, the theory stands. All of the Pikey guys I did in this same style. So there's nothing new to show you with the other stuff that we didn't do right away. Um, I don't think I have the other videos. I think I actually did delete the other videos from the Shadow Collective because I really wasn't happy with how they turned out. But this guy actually turned out pretty good, so we went ahead and did this. You'll notice he's already based. That's yep. because we did the basing from one of the old Star Wars Legion basing videos we did. Um, many, many, many moons ago. Yeah, it was a minute ago. Uh, and, I mean, th there we go. I mean, basically, that's, that's all we're doing is, is basic, contrasty stuff. Now, I've been hearing... I'm, this is where I go off the rails, and it's going to sound like I'm attacking other people. Why are uh, you attacking people, Christopher? So, I'm going to I'm gonna admit a level of ignorance here. Okay. It, okay. I'm going to admit a level of ignorance, but there's there's been a lot of... I don't know if it's a lot. Enough people have been talking about this painting method called the slap chop method. Okay. I don't remember exactly who did the first video on it. Mm -hmm. I uh, need them to definitely change that name. Cause yeah, because you're going to love my nuts. Yeah. yeah the Slap yeah, Top commercials were fantastic. Yeah. That's all uh, that's in my head right the now. The Slap Top commercials were fantastic. Uh, anyway. I, I You have thoughts. I don't want to... I don't want to say any names because I don't want to lie to you and tell you that a certain person came up with it first and then did it. But I, I've kind of casually watched a couple of videos that talk about the slap chop method and uh, where, I'm the where I'm offended by it, not offended, where I'm irked by it is I feel like it was first talked about a fair bit after the contrast first released and they pretend, oh that was my work email and they pretended like it was like a like a thing, mm -hmm. but but really, what it boils down to is a Zenithal prime on your miniatures, and then slapping contrast paint on it. And a Zenithal prime is you know priming it black, and then doing progressively lighter shades all the way up to white on your primer through like a dusting method and changing the angles and how much paint you put on it, or. Uh, what we did on this miniature, we primed it white and then washed it black, almost created like a, a faux Zenithal to create the shading. And what irks me about it is that we're pretending, and maybe I'm weird, but we're pretending this is a technique that people needed to be taught, as opposed to something that we've all been doing since Contrast came out. And that's what irks me about it. Ah, okay. uh, so, so again, it's going to sound like I'm attacking somebody. I'm really not trying to. But every time I see somebody go, I did the slap chop method on this miniature, I'm like, but that's, and maybe I'm crazy. Maybe this is not how everybody's been painted with contrast since they came out. But I'm like my third test model playing with contrast. I started using technique like that in some cases. And it just felt like a natural thing that didn't need a name or a technique. Huh. Am I, am I crazy here? I mean, no, you're not crazy. Well, I mean, beyond the other stuff, but I think that what it comes down to is it's a matter of for people who have been painting for a hot minute, the we've got a new product, let's go play with it is an immediate kind of response. Like sure. I have a new product, time for me to go play with it. In if you are newer to the hobby or you just picked up contrast paints because 
somebody told you they were easy to work with, they could seem daunting because they don't slather. They don't like it's not like immediate great coverage. That's it's a Tony method, the slather. The slather. Um they they are nuancy. That's the word I'm going with. Nuancy. Nuancy. <coughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So there might have been people who do need to need to kind of be taught how to slap chop because that's, that's fair. well. I mean, I can and you know what? Maybe the other thing is that I just, I hate the name. Mm, I, that that that's absolutely where I'm at right now. I hate I, I hate, hate the, the name. name. I don't know what better name I would give it, but I would never give it slap chop. Also, you guys remember the slap chop? I mean, that's my thing. That's all I'm seeing is those info commercials of him, like yeah, with that dude who was trying to be the next Billy Mays. Yeah, what was, and he what was, was his name? Do you remember his name? I don't remember. I know he ended up getting picked up for drug possession that, and prostitution. You know who he kind of looked like? He kind of looked like uh, Joe McHale. He did kind of look like Joe McHale. It's true. It was almost, it was almost like Joe McHale. Joe McHale's character from Community had to get a side job, and that was him. And it, with a bad British accent, and uh, I don't remember having a British accent. Yeah. No, you're thinking of the other guy. Was that the you're other think, guy? You're thinking was of the older the, guy. The... You're thinking of the guy with the gray hair. This is the guy who looked like Joe, Joe McHale. McHale, and he was. Yeah, no, and he's he, like, "You're gonna love my nuts." nuts. That's actually out. all I remember that he said. He was also, I think, he was. What are you doing, Sham Wow? Too for a while. No, he picked up Sham Wow after somebody else let it. Was it Billy Mays? Do so you guys remember that time that Billy Mays died? And it was, in retrospect, a really weird time for our society. Because we mourned the death of a, of a salesman. Of an info. It was literally the death of a salesman. It was the death of a salesman. Um, not saying I wasn't upset when Billy Mays died. I was. Not saying we shouldn't mourn Billy Mays. We absolutely should. We should mourn any human who dies. But Billy Mays also, because for those of us who at any time in our lives had uh, any kind of insomnia, Billy Mays was a steadfast companion at 2 a.m. Yeah, but it was still like, us, we, we're, it's a salesman. Yeah. So, you know what was a uh, bizarre, it's, you know, I'm not going to go down this road. I'm going to go down this road. Oh, so there was no. this, there was this bizarre, yourself, there was this bizarre televangelist who used to be on at like 2 a.m. on some of the non-cable channels that you could get access to. And this is, this is dating myself a little bit because when I was younger, I had a crappy little TV in my room. Now the crappy TV was probably older than I was. Maybe that's an exaggeration. But I had this crappy little TV in my room, my room that was really only good for plugging in old video game consoles. Like, I had my Super Nintendo hook hooked into it. Oh, okay. And this, this this was one of those ones. That it was one of the ones with the knobs, where you had oh. the, the knob that you'd set uh -huh. like channel three, and then you spun the other knob or yep. whatever it was. Yep. Uh, so I had this going on, and I didn't actually have cable attached to it for that same reason, right? Right. And uh, <laughs> I remember this weird televangelist who'd show up at like one thirty or 2 in the morning. And uh, I don't know, the dude was creepy as hell. He actually looked a little bit like Greg Proop. That's not. That's not. Nobody should look like that. You remember Greg Proop? <laughs> whose line is it? I don't know any of Greg Proop's other work other than whose line is it anyway. I mean, he was a stand up comic, so. But he looked like Greg Proop, and the dude was just weird. Now, I'm not somebody who really buys into televangelists, uh, and I, honestly, I'm not a super religious person, but it's just that that dude was surprisingly helpful at helping me get over bouts of insomnia. <laughs> like that dude would come on and I'd be like, I'm gonna fall asleep now. Thanks, thanks, that dude. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, not Greg Proop. <laughs> so I've I've got a couple pictures of here of this and a couple of different So this got really weird. Yeah. This, yeah. yeah. Us not talking about the model may actually be a detriment to us. Uh I guess we'll find out. Uh put a comment down. Tell us if you like the new format of where we just kind of ramble about Billy Mays and you know these nuts. Uh like and subscribe for more content. Hit the bell button for notifications. Uh ShamWow rule 34. We will no, see you guys next time. No, don't do all. Bye. God.